Coach Lansing era has been filled with plenty of ups and downs in his 11-year tenure. We thought it would be cool to have a look back. Greg Lansing took over for Kevin McKenna before the 2010-2011 season, and his first year turned out to be a great one. How about Jake Odom's game-winning shot beating Evansville on a late Friday night in St. Lou? Two days after that in 2011, Sycamore's win Arch Madness punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament. So happy for our community. Uh, they've, been, they've been tremendous to me. How about November 2013? As storms hit the Wabash Valley, Indiana State went to South Bend, pulled off an upset against the ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish. We all remember this. March 2014 in a senior class led by Jake Odom, ISU is back in the NBC Championship game in St. Louis. But they come up just short against an undefeated Wichita State. State squad. It's hard because you want it so bad for them. It really did. That's all I could think about for the last week was how, how they deserve it because they're such good guys and, and what they've accomplished here. And when you throw your guts to everything, abs do absolutely everything you can to try to accomplish something and you, and you come up short, it, it, it hurts. And there's a lot of disappointment in that locker room. The next year after Odom graduates in 2015, the Sycamores still work up a third place league finish with an 11 and 7 record. What about the court storm after a big win against Butler in December of 2016? The spring of 2017 started a four-year stretch of ISU coming up short in St. Louis and not winning an MVC tourney game. The Sycamores suffered three straight losing seasons. How about the fall of 2017 starting with a bang as the Sycamores walk into Assembly Hall and ruin Archie Miller's debut with a rout of the Hoosiers? That would be the peak of that season as ISU wraps up 2017-2018 with a 13-18 record. Fast forward to 2019, Tyree Key named it all NBC in a freshman class filled with talent helps ISU to a third place finish before a blowout to Missouri State. To now, the Sycamores wrapping up a 15 and 10 COVID season under strange circumstances and three players named the all NBC team. Lansing is the 11th coach in conference history to reach 100 career wins. He wraps up his tenure with six winning seasons, four All-NBC first-team selections, and his tenure ends with 181 wins, just two wins shy of a program record.